our table topics master. Uh, okay, you can close it. So, there is a radio program in this country called Top 2000. It's a radio program which has been broadcasting since um, 1999 at the end of each year. So, the show starts at 12 on December 25th and ends at midnight on the New Year Eve. Do you have any suggestions, guys? Actually, me too. Mm -hmm. So maybe our table topics master could help us. Anatoly Burtsev. I'll reveal you a secret. It's a Dutch. Yeah. Um, let me guess. You've been inspired by our excellent girls, speakers. And uh, you are going to try to check your power. And it's your chance. It's Table Topic Master Session, and uh, it's your chance to have a power to come here to the stage and have a speech. I have some cards with picture, different picture. Each picture connected with the question on the another side. You get one picture from my hand, get uh, read uh, questions loud for all people, and after that, you have two minutes to answer to this question. But uh, one important thing. You have two minutes. Don't do it too short. Try to fill all your time. All two minutes. But uh, for motivating you to come here and to fight you, you scare, to be brave, uh, I'll motivate you in this way. As I boss here on the stage now, at this station, I'll allow you to look into this bag. <laughs> but please don't tell anything to Christina. It's okay. It's well, our secret. <laughs> to this bag. <laughs> Who would like to be the first? I have wonderful pictures I on my card. I think you choose actually any person you yeah, like. Please. Uh, my name is Ali. So the question or the sentence is, tell about your favorite New Year traditions. Okay. <coughs> uh, my favorite New Year traditions. So last year when I was hitchhiking in China, it happened that I spent the New Year Eve in some ancient Chinese town. And uh, they have this local uh, celebration and, uh, where they were showing their traditions and was kind of uh, showing uh, their marriage traditions. So I was sitting and watching and suddenly the supposed uh, like wife should pick a husband from the audience to show the traditions with him. So she picked me, <laughs> I didn't expect that, but she uh, asked me like to help her show the traditions. So one of the traditions were that uh, they should drink this kind of Chinese vodka. So I thought they will give me a water, so it's cause, because I'm just a guest, I'm just a foreign person who happened to be there. But they give me this real one, so I finished to the end because you, know, you should uh, drink it to the... And uh, then they give me a second one, and after that the third one. But for the second and third time I was smarter, so I just like tasted, and uh, that's it. And uh, after the drinking, uh, we start gathering money for our, for our, uh, like supposed uh, marriage. So, <laughs> yeah. So some gifts. I took some gifts, and I showed, I showed my uh, uh, thank, like uh, my appreci appreciation. And I, <laughs> I don't look a gift horse in the mouth, in the mouth for these people. And I was very happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget about your present. Don't forget about your present. You could look. <laughs> Chocolate. Thank you. What's your name? Akma. Akma. Okay, choose one. Uh, 
Tell us about the most outstanding gift you sent or received. Oh, great question. Hey guys, um, it's a beautiful evening. Uh, I'm happy to be here one more time. The best present, the best gift I received, I, I want to tell you the best uh, gift I received last year. Uh, it changed almost my whole life maybe, I don't know, maybe it will change the whole life in future, but the most outstanding gift which I received last year, it was a guitar from my brother. Yeah, it was, it, it was something. At that time, uh, I, really, uh, I really did wish to have a guitar and start playing, but I uh, didn't have uh, enough money to buy, some, uh, to buy an, a, 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 a one for myself. Uh, and after his uh, kindly uh, giving me this gift, I was so happy and still uh, and, uh, I, I have been practicing this uh, guitar playing for uh, more than eight years and it, uh, every day, uh, inch by inch maybe, uh, it changed my life. It, 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 uh, uh, it brings me, it uh, gives me uh, more creativity sense, more uh, uh, it, it gives me more satisfactory because uh, I'm more. I think I'm more like a creative person, uh, even if I work as engineer. Uh, maybe it will be that the breaking point when I will change my uh, speciality. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is good for you. I can look. Yeah. I can look. Oh, great. <laughs> I will choose a magic ball. What? <laughs> uh, maybe Mr. Upcounter would like to have a word. <laughs> oh. Oops. Just one. This one? Yeah. With whom Santa Claus spent his 364 days holiday, <laughs> and what are his hobbies? Santa Claus. I think that Santa Claus had probably spent his holidays with his. Uh, Toastmaster advisors <laughs> who were uh, spending their time over the Moscow surfing for different things, uh, who were spending time on the job and probably ask colleagues for some help. Uh, were surfing internet like Google, Yandex, and probably uh, asked some advice from their so called. Uh, how, how do you call this advi advisors of, of uh, Santa Claus? Helpers? Yeah, Mentors. So, yes, this, these guys. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, pro pro probably, probably it was Black Friday that uh, really helped to, to spend. I mean, the Santa Claus and to fulfill his goal of the year. Uh, so, I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, one more. Is it good for you? Look. Ah. <laughs> it's not nice. Sasha. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> yeah, please. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Uh, Paul. Paul? Paul. Good. Question on the other side. Uh -huh. In Australia, there are a very hot winter and a snowy summer, so they couldn't play snowballs or make a snowman in New Year. Uh, ah, invent a winter holiday, especially for southern countries like Australia, with their own traditions and a hero. 
when the winter holiday is special. <laughs> I have two minutes, yeah? Uh, yeah. No? <laughs> <laughs> to speak. Of course. Not to speak. <laughs> <laughs> not to think. No, not to think. Oh, yeah. Just to create something, um, not speaking. Just to speak. Yes. Okay, I can choose uh, any country in the south. Uh, so, um, I'm keen on uh, Latin America, so this country will be from Latin America. Okay, let's choose, uh, for example, Chile. Mm. You know, because uh, Chile now uh, is going to uh, mm, uh, reclaim the uh, rights on the Antarctica, so they have a large continent where they can uh, celebrate a new year, actually all the year. And so uh, the question about where uh, does spend that uh, uh, yellow pookie, Santa Claus and other uh, members uh, 364 days, I suppose, on Antarctica because they should each day celebrate this party and uh, after this hard uh, year they have only one uh, night when they uh, present um, the uh, presents for all other uh, people in the world and uh, mm, I suppose they uh, could do uh, different things because now we have problems with ice melting and so and so. So I suppose they can have some. Uh, mm, ah, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so they can uh, have some uh, celebrations and then some ecological projects to uh, uh, preserve uh, the melting of Antarctica, something like this. Wonderful. Thank you. Just, just my imagination. Thank you. And I need for you. <laughs> it's fighting me. Okay, oh, good. Thank you. So, do Santa Claus. Oh, hello everyone. My name is Maria. So, it's my first time here today. And the question is Do Santa Claus and Father Frost, Diet Maros, make a present to each other? What kind of present it could be? I think that's a great question. <laughs> so, just several seconds for thinking, but as far as I understand, the Diet Maros and Santa Claus live not very far away from each other. So I suppose they do make presents to each other, they meet. So you said they have 360 days for holiday and hard working, so they definitely need some piece of advice and support from each other and what kind of present it could be so they have snow, they have sun, they have uh, a lot of friends um, what do you think? do you have any ideas? what could be this present? any cake? matryoshka, matryoshka yeah some uh, cultural presents you arise Matryoshka and uh, from Santa Claus. Chocolate nuclear rockets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I totally agree with you. And they make great party. <laughs> so thank you. Wonderful. you. <laughs> Choose the best one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, thank you a lot.